The true mind of the warrior is to be prepared for any situation. That is one of the core concepts of martial arts. I completely agree. There is no grappling versus striking for the true martial artist. It is to learn both of them and to understand what is the best choice for what situation. I have a very, very easy rule of thumb for that. In MMA specific, when it's hard to strike, it's easy to grapple. When it's hard to grapple, it's easy to strike. That goes for all situations. A true martial artist has to learn. It, it is our body. It doesn't make any sense to restrict your martial arts training to just one aspect. I cannot understand for the life of it how people can train just only boxing and have no interest in learning even how to kick or to throw or to defend throws or to do submission holds. Like how can you voluntarily just decide, oh yes, I would like just 10% of the martial arts and yes, I would like to ignore 90% of it doesn't make any sense to me at all so it, the other way is around as well people who in the modern world so many start bjj yet they don't even learn throws and takedowns to them it's basically like basketball it's just a game that they play they have no connection to the spirit of the martial arts they have no connection to even a no rules fight, even MMA, let alone self defense. They just all they know is pulling guard, sitting down. They have never learned how to defend a punch in their whole life. They have never taken a punch. It's kind of sad to me, actually. And in many martial arts, that is the core concept. You restrict yourself. In most traditional martial arts, and I believe. That is one of the key aspects of what Bruce Lee disliked about styles. So you just go to Taekwondo and then you learn those specific techniques that are encompassed in a curriculum just deliberately chosen from a person based on his subjective likings and dislikings. There is no way to actually adapt it to improve it it's just how it is and it deliberately ignores most of what fighting actually is and in my professional and experienced opinion the soul of martial arts is always self-defense so you need to be able to defend yourself that means you need to be able to defend yourself against all major aspects of fighting you cannot be a fighter and not know how to defend the punch or not know how to defend the kick or not know how to defend the double leg takedown. It just, it's not possible. To be a fighter, you have to know how to defend those basic aspects. So I strongly hold firmly the same belief as you express here. To be a martial artist, you have to train all the aspects of the martial art.